Hello, I'm Donna Shillington. I'm one of the uh, co-chief scientists of Expedition 381 to the Corinth Rift. We are here in the uh, Gulf of Corinth. This is a, a water body that's between the, the main part of Greece and the uh, Peloponnese. And um, so if we zoom in a little bit, here is um, a map that's showing the uh, Gulf of Corinth and it's uh, colored in by bathymetry. So the blue parts are deeper than the, than the red parts. And these white circles are showing um, the locations of our drill sites here, um, here in the Gulf of Corinth. And so we kind of have several different goals for, for coming here. And one is to understand how continents extend and rift apart. So this entire um, body of water where we're sitting and some of the uh, mountains that are around us were formed by this process of continental extension where you take a continent and, um, and rift it apart. And so we know that the process of continental breakup has happened repeatedly over Earth's history. It's how we formed the Atlantic Ocean, for example. But we have a lot of questions about how it works, and in particular, what happens during these very earliest parts of continental breakup. So that's one kind of category of questions that we want to answer. And the other is to understand how the paleo environment has varied um, over the life of this rift. This is a pretty um, pretty unique place. So if we go back to, back to our map, you know, the Gulf of Corinth is, is basically connected to the rest of the global ocean system um, over here in the, um, in the western part of the rift uh, near Patras. And so right now, while sea level is relatively high, we're connected to the oceans. Um, you have a direct um, connection and you have marine conditions like today. But at periods in the past, um, when sea level was lower during um, kind of past ice ages, sea level was lower and the Gulf of Corinth becomes isolated from the rest of the um, global ocean system. And so um, we kind of have a unique record here in the sediments of the changing paleo environment within the setting during these past sea level changes. And so our goal is to drill those sediments and understand the history of tectonics and paleo environmental change here. Uh, here in the Gulf of Corinth, in order to get a record of these past paleoenvironmental changes and of this rifting history, we need to drill a relatively deep hole to get the sediments that store that record. So we're he actually here at our deepest site. So the water depth is about 850 meters deep. And then um, at the deepest part of our hole is 700 meters to the deepest sea floor. So that means that we want to get rocks back from one and a half kilometers below where we are on the ship now. So if you want to do that, you need to come and have a relatively large drill ship. So we're here on the Fugro Synergy. And um, if we kind of look behind us here, we're looking at the very top of the, um, of the drill pipe. And so at the deepest part of the hole, we had a, one and a half kilometers of drill pipe here beneath the ship. And basically at the base of that drill pipe, we're gradually taking five meters of core of sediment um, at a time. And the top of the drill pipe is here at the top of um, what we call the, uh, the rooster box here. It comes down and, and the core is in a core barrel. That holds the, uh, the core and brings it um, back up here to the deck. It comes out, we lay out here on the table and begin the process of labeling where it is, what the top and bottom is, and all the rest. <laughs> 